This anonymous YouTube channel earns up to $38,000 each month just by developing and publishing YouTube clips. The nicest thing is that it's entirely done by AI. AI was used to produce the titles, descriptions, hashtags, and content. Here's one of their most recent videos. As you can see, it's basically relevant and shareable material, and I'll teach you how to make thousands of them. We'll utilize two artificial intelligence technologies to make this happen and automate everything. ChatGPT is the first tool we're utilizing. I've included a link in the description for you, and I'll see you in a moment. To get access to ChatGPT, you must first sign up for an account and then log in to view a page similar to this. Immediately below this video, I'm going to post the same prompt that I'm going to show you in a second, along with the second ERI prompt, and it's already programmed to provide you with just what we're looking for here. So, what I'm going to do is copy and paste that question in, and then let me take you through what we have here. So, essentially, we're going to ask it to create me 50 sets of facts in the same style as the below examples, and format them in a table where one column is the topic, one column is the part one, and one column is the part two. Do not repeat any facts. These should be psychology facts, crush facts, male facts, girls facts, relationship facts, and more. They'll be formatted as a topic or type of fact, part one and then part two. Keep the facts engaging, polarizing, over the top, and relatable to everyone or people in particular situations. The reading grade should be under grade 7 ideally. Here's a few examples. As a result, it will provide you with a table that breaks down the process step by step. I also requested it to modify with a few various fact kinds. So there's psychology, crushes, relationships, boys, girls, and so on. As a result, it's extremely shareable and engagement driven. This is precisely what we're looking for and what you would generally see on YouTube that you'd engage with. So we have our prompt, which has been designed several times. We experimented with this a lot. Then we'll go through all of our examples to give it a feel of what we're aiming using a variety of different permutations. This is precisely what we're looking for in this circumstance. Column one contains various sorts of information. Column two has the beginning point and column three contains the ending or the punchline as it were. As a result, this will produce us. To begin, there are 50 facts you may change this number. I wouldn't go beyond 50. Somewhere between 30 and 50 is the golden spot for conversation GPT quality. When you ask for a lower amount, the emphasis is more on quality within that amount. So here are the first 50. So with that stated, we're going to want to replicate whatever we have here. So let's duplicate this complete table. And then we'll go on to our next tool, which will be used to perform some automatic editing so that we can bring this all together and make lots and tons of movies at once. And as you can see below, with just a little tweaking and modifying, I'll be able to make 50 videos, okay? So we've arrived at Canva.com. You may either click the link in the description to return here or go to Canva, Entercom into your browser. And you want to go ahead and join up for a free account. After you have joined up or logged in, you will see this screen. Now we're going to click the search box in the center here and put in YouTube Shorts and then we're going to choose the YouTube Shorts template here. Then we'll go ahead and click on Create Blank Template. And this will generate a whole new template for us to utilize. And we'll be doing a few things to make this template ready to start the automatic video production side. So what we're going to do is insert a backdrop video. So, first and foremost, let's put a video backdrop here. So we're going to click on Applications in the bottom left here. And then we'll scroll down till we see Videos here. You can also look for it in the search bar here, but once you locate it, let's click videos and in the search box, write anything like beach or sunset or any of those sorts of things. We want something with an ambient feel, similar to what you saw in the sample. So let's go to the sunset and we merely want to choose one of these videos. As you can see, there are some with this tiny crown on them. When we get to the bulk creation, you'll need to sign up for a free trial. You may also sign up for the free trial and then cancel it right away and you'll still be able to use it. So that is what I would advise. But that's why I'm seeing a lot of them with these tiny crowns. If you haven't activated your free trial yet, you may not see any of them. You'll only see ones like this with nothing beside it. That implies they're free to use. And this is the one I'd probably suggest. So when you discover a video that you like, We'll click on it and drag it to the border of your tiny editing window here. So now we simply need to tidy it up 
so we can start putting text on it. And to do so, we'll make this significantly shorter since one minute is just too lengthy. We actually simply need a five to six second video. Furthermore, we will ensure that any extra background noise or background music that has previously been put to this film is not carried forward. To shorten it, we'll click the small cut symbol here and drag it all the way down to six seconds. I believe that is sufficient length here. It's okay if you don't understand everything, you may also enter six seconds here. So I'm going to get rid of it and then we'll press done and we'll get a six second video instead of a 60 second one. The last step will be to remove any audio or noise from the background. So go ahead and click on the video, then the volume icon and drag this all the way down. Now we're going to go ahead and add our text before we tie it to our data. Completely automate the creation process. So let's get to the text. We're simply going to drag in any of these text styles since we'll be altering it. So here is our first piece of literature and it will be the theme. So I'll just replace this text with the term topic. Then I'll go ahead and move it up to the top here. This is almost where I want it. And now I'll go ahead and style it. So we'll use effects. We'll go back to the beginning. And it's generally black by default. But if it's not, click the color, pick black, and we'll click out of that. And you can see we have our subject text almost ready to go. However, I'm planning to update the typeface as well. I'm going to attempt this one since I believe this one doesn't look as well as it might. That doesn't seem to be that horrible. That appeals to me. So I'll use that font, but you may basically use whatever font you like. There are a plethora of options available. And if you're using the free trial, you may upload your own fonts or search for them. And it does utilize the Google font collection. So there are some. There are several options. So go ahead and choose anything you want for your style. And then we're going to replicate this by clicking on it. We're going to pull this down and use it as our part one text. So I'll double click in here and change the text with simply part one. Just so we know what's what, I'm going to remove the backdrop. So if I click on this element here, the text, I'll click effect. I'm going to remove the backdrop. So I'll simply pick none for style, but I'm going to add an outline because as you can see, it's already difficult to read with just the background. So I'll click outline. I'm going to utilize the color black and raise the thickness to around 80, maybe a little more, maybe 85, keep it at 86. You can reach 85. And as you can see, it's already a lot simpler to read. So that's what we're going for with the wording there. Part two exists. And what we're going to do is click on part one, the text here, and then duplicate. And all we're going to do is pull it down. We do want it to ultimately appear in the same location as part one, but if you simply leave it there, connecting the data will be quite difficult. So we can have this automatic, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But there's one more thing we'd want to do for each of these groups of texts, since they may be rather extensive, but the subject is usually just two words long. The content in parts one and two may grow lengthy depending on the conversation GPT supplied us. So what we're going to do is use the border of each of these purple boxes for part, part one text and part two text, which I'm going to convert to part two so we know what it is. We're going to click and drag from these boundaries to this other purple boundary, which will give us a box around the whole video. When text is entered, it will travel up to these lines, but not beyond and then it will begin to move into line two, line three, line four, and so on. And this prevents words from spilling over the edge of the movie and becoming illegible. Get it to the edge and then do the same with this one. So there you have it. So our template is about ready to link to our data. Finally, we don't want both of these pieces of text to appear at the same moment, do we? It's the first portion, whatever the hook is, and the second half, whatever the punchline is. So we need to change the timing of when they appear so that they don't overlap. To do this, we will right click on component one and choose show timing. This will give us a timeline view at the bottom where we can click on the edge and move it around to pick where to display the first portion of the text and when to reveal the second half of the text. And I usually want to have the majority of the footage for a six second video displaying the first section of the video. 
followed by a shorter portion of the film showing the second half. As a result, if it's a lengthy explanation, they may have to view the video twice to receive the entire, complete picture. That way, you may obtain a greater overall retention, a higher overall view rate, and your movies can reach more people. So we'll leave it at three and a half seconds for portion one. This may be changed to four or five seconds. It is all up to you. However, I believe three and a half is enough. And we'll repeat the process for part two. So, if I click on part two, you can see that we still have the time. I'm going to move this to four seconds in. So, when we get actually, there will be two seconds remaining, correct? So there you have it. So part one will be shown, followed by a cut, and then part two will be shown. What we want to do now is go ahead and start linking all of our text. To do this, we will using Canva's bulk create feature. So, to get there, select apps in the bottom left, and bulk create is right here, just where you discovered videos. When you click on it, it will prompt you to input all of your information. That's why we requested ChatGPT to provide us with content in a tabular format. So we can copy and paste this in, and it will recognize it as one set of text to connect to, another set of text to connect to, and a third set of text to link to. Let's finish up with a mouse click. And now it's going to ask you to link this to specific elements in your editor so it knows where to show that information. As I can see for some reason it didn't work. Then I'll save our table in Google Docs table and upload it. I'll add the table with a document, now it all works. Now that this is linked, which is where these squiggly lines come in, because that's where we want both sets of text to appear, we only want one for three and a half seconds, followed by the other for the last two and a half seconds. So, we're going to go ahead and press the continue button. When we push the create button here, it will generate all 52 videos. So we'll go ahead and press produce, and it'll generate each of these videos. So we'll go ahead and do it right now. And now for our 52 videos. As we can see, each video has the same background. We can quickly change it and edit the duration of the video, add animation and so on. We can also add music if you don't have it on your laptop. When all the videos are ready, click share, select the videos you want or all at once and save. After that, you will be able to upload the video to your YouTube channel. Let's see what we got. I have shown you how to do this in previous videos. Check out the other videos on the channel to learn the hottest topics of making money online in 2023. Write in the comments your opinion about this method of mass creation of YouTube Shorts. See you in the next videos.